There exists a large concern in baseball with coach and spectator treatment of umpires being horrible and getting worse, causing a shortage of umpires. Watch these horribly wrong calls by umpires and let me know if the coaches and spectators reacted inappropriately. Coming up next. The worst Little League World Series umpire call that I have seen will come at the end and it's absolutely crazy. These first two plays are in a must-win game for the offensive team. They are literally back-to-back -back plays. Here is the first one. Post a comment on what the umpires got wrong here and why. The spectator comments might help some, that is, if they are correct and since when has that ever happened? Spectators knowing the rules better than an umpire? The very next play and the following occurs. There's one out and runners at second and third. called the runner out on the tag at home and the batter was called out for batter's interference. What did he get wrong this time? And you will notice the absolute horrible things that all the spectators, coaches, and players are saying. The way they are acting after being screwed on two back-to-back -back calls by the umpire. This next call is at another must-win game, but to have full disclosure, the score and the skill level was quite lopsided, so that may contribute to some of the reactions. Now for the Little League World Series Midwest Regional from 2015. This is an elimination game and while it may appear that it's a blowout, this is Little League. And in true Little League fashion, South Dakota scored six runs in this game, several in this inning after this call, and it made it a much closer game. Let's see how the coach and team reacts to this call. But the bases were loaded. I don't think the umpire realized that he's, he's standing right on home plate. That looked like a botch call at home. There's an argument there from the players. But uh, they're going to say that that was a run for South Dakota. It sure looked like Miles Taylor's foot was on home plate when the throw came home. Well, how about the presence of mind here to go home? He notices that the runner's not there, and you can see... Miles Taylor's foot is definitely on home plate before the runner gets there. Did the umpire forget that it was a, a force out is the question, and they're going to do the right thing here and confer. These umpires do a great job. They're all volunteers. They pay their way to get here. They pay their own hotel, their own meals. And they're talking about it here to make sure they get the call right. Now they're going to say he was safe. That was a mistake, and it happens. It happens. It's now 10 to 1. What a crazy play here. This ball hits the knob of the bat. And, and nobody knows what to do at first, but then Whitmer Murray does a great job of keeping his presence, and you can see just a, a missed call there at home plate keeps the inning alive for South Dakota. What 
are we going to do? What are we going to do, right? There's nothing we can do. What, what did we talk about this whole time, right? We move on to the next thing, right? Hey, there's nothing you can do but make the next play. Way to make that play. Way to be heavy on that one, all right? Hey, we know what we got. Let's go get four outs this inning. Yeah. All right, let's go to work. Let's go back. Come on. Thank you. It's like a manual on how to deal with young athletes right now from Jason Halverson. Just encouraging his guys to move on and make the next play. Certainly a tough call that didn't go their way, but move on and let's think about executing against this next batter.